people think black hole, and so then you think sort of like a hole like Wile E. Coyote fell into when he was chasing the Roadrunner. But it's not quite like that. It's four-dimensional just like we are. My name is Jedida Eisler. I have a PhD in astrophysics, and I study supermassive, hyperactive black holes called blazars. A black hole is an object that is so massive that not even light can escape it. A blazar is a special class of black hole that is supermassive, and by that I mean something that's a billion times the mass of the sun. I study those, and they're special because somehow, somewhere near the black hole, it's able to spin up these jets of material that are going at 99.99% of the speed of light. I like to think of it as like a cosmic super soaker that's shooting out material, and I think that's super cool. What people are thinking when they say black hole are thinking, oh, well, when I look at it, I see a void where nothing else is. But it's not, it's not a hole, it's four-dimensional just like we are. The reason they're black is because not even light can escape the pull that gravity provides from the black hole itself. Everything has gravity, but the more massive you are, the stronger that gravity is. If you have things that are very massive and they are, say, orbiting one another and two black holes collide, that's two massive bodies having this huge eruption of energy, they can actually cause a ripple in space-time itself. And that's why it's an amazing discovery. If you imagine sort of a pebble falling into a pond, space and time are that pond, and the drop of the the pebble is the, the first time the two black holes collide. That ripple through the water is the ripple in space-time, except we would be sitting in the pond and feeling that ripple as well. My work is an important contribution to the world because there's so much to learn. So in some ways, doing this work at all, trying to understand how the universe works, is a contribution to the larger body of knowledge that exists.